We have good news for professional refurbishers. We are pleased to introduce the new Triton. The Triton has been designed as the essential machine in any refurbishment. A rubble crusher that reduces the volume of rubble from any job site to one third of its original volume, transforming it into sand. Not only will this save time removing the rubble from the property being refurbished, but it also offers the refurbisher a considerable cost saving in the hire of debris containers, as well as reducing the inconvenience to the residents of the building. To use the Triton, just remove the packaging in which it is delivered and place on an even work surface and try to ensure this is stable. To improve stability, operate the wheel brakes, immobilising the machine and pull out the telescopic legs. This will also make it easier to place a container under the machine to collect the sand that is produced. It weighs 180 kilos and is designed to fit perfectly in the elevator of any apartment block. Finally, plug the machine into a standard electrical box with a 40 amp circuit breaker. Press the start button to turn the machine on and begin to feed the machine with rubble through the hatch in the upper part of the hopper. To stop it, press the red stop button. The Triton is a sturdy machine made to last. Before putting it to use, we recommend you take some time to familiarise yourself with the machine and carry out several crushing tests. Its powerful 5.5 horsepower engine, equipped with a speed inverter in its single phase version, spins a drum carrying 20 anti-wear steel hammers at 3,000 turns per minute, hitting the rubble at high speed and reducing it to sand. The Triton is equipped with three sieves of 1mm, 10mm and 40mm diameter respectively to obtain different calibres of sand, fine, normal or coarse. To put a sieve in place, loosen the clamping nut that holds the hopper to the lower jaw. Then remove the side bolt that locks the jaw and raise the hopper by folding it back with caution, exposing the guides in which the sieves are inserted. Once the chosen sieve has been put back in place, the jaw should be returned to its original position making sure to lock the bolt and close in the hopper afterwards. Tighten the nut to ensure it is perfectly in place. In order to reduce rubble volume, it is best to always use a 40 diameter sieve. But if you want to make very fine sand, depending on what the refurbisher is going to use it for, you will only need to feed the sand already crushed once back into the machine. This time using a finer sieve of 10 mm diameter or even 1 mm diameter, depending on the calibre of sand you want. Why is it important to have the possibility of obtaining different calibres of sand? Because the recycled sand obtained by rubble crushing is perfectly usable for different mixes of filling mortar, in the case of coarse gorge sand, plastering mortar, in the case of medium gorge sand, and even concrete glue, using very fine sand mixed with a suitable additive and cement. The decision lies with the builder or specialist, as well as the decision of what components and additives will be used in the mix to add to the sand obtained. This could mean additional savings because it reduces or eliminates the need to buy sacks of sand to make up your sand mixtures and mortars for the refurbishment. Furthermore, there's no need to go out and buy it and transport it back to the site. With all these savings, you have paid for your Triton with one refurbishment, which is cost reduction and improved competitivity for users. The Triton is a valuable recycling machine and as such requires the elementary precaution of removing the rubble to recycle all metallic materials, nails, screws, pieces of rebar, as well as plastics or wood. If you intend to use the sand obtained from crushing with other mixtures, it would also be essential that all plaster is removed from the rubble so that the mixture produced with the sand is perfectly stable. Once underway, the Triton is able to process between one and three cubic meters of rubble per hour, depending on the sieve used and the desired caliber of sand. Your hour meter will allow you to monitor your Triton performance. The machine shreds by impact, so the acoustic level reached when it is in operation exceeds 90 decibels. It also generates a considerable amount of dust so in addition to wearing the mandatory safety and protective clothing such as gloves, glasses and anti-noise headphones, 
it's convenient that the operator has a filtering mask. It's also advisable to moisten the rubble moderately before in introducing it into the feed hatch of the machine hopper, but not too much, or otherwise it will generate a quantity of mud that will require frequent cleaning of the machine. The sand lodged under the machine must be removed and stored for later use. The Triton requires frequent cleaning to remove the remains of mud or dust. To do so, it will be necessary to use a spatula. If the residue left is not too wet, or if it is dry dust, a blower or simply a cloth or brush to remove accumulated dust will be sufficient. In order to ensure a correct maintenance, avoid leaving the Triton out in the open. Before performing any maintenance operation, please disconnect the machine from the network. To access the inside of the machine for cleaning, unscrew the nut from the hopper and carefully fold it backwards. The crushing hammers are attached to the drum in a shaft. When you notice that the speed of the crushing is slower, it is possible that the hammers have been worn out by the part that hits the rubble. You can confirm this by observing if the area of impact is very rounded at the corners. When this happens, the position of the hammers should be changed so that the impact is made on the surface that is not worn down. The hammers can be changed into four different positions. In this way, a set of hammers can process, depending on the material crushed, up to 320 cubic metres of debris. When the four beating edges of the hammers are worn out, it's necessary to change all the hammers of the drum, replacing them with completely new ones. After every 80 working hours, we recommend greasing the bearings to ensure optimum performance. To sum up, the new Triton from SEMA will be a great ally for your refurbishment work, providing important cost savings and allowing the most efficient recycling of construction debris. For more information, contact your usual distributor or go to www.cmasa.com.